I love League of Legends. It's the best competitive experience I've found outside of like actually going outside and playing a sport. When League is good, it's amazing. However, with the online environment and with the esports gaming and with League in general, there are problems. And today I want to talk about League's biggest problems, uh, especially some of the things that I deal with from my day to day playing League uh, partially as a full time job and then how I would recommend dealing with it. So the problems in this game often come down to like trolls and enters and win traders. It, basically anybody who's intentionally trying to mess up the competitive integrity of the game, right? Somebody who is soft inting, somebody who is troll picking, somebody who is win trading with their buddy. So, you know, they're on the enemy team and they're inting intentionally, they're intentionally running it down. These are big, big problems. And it has to do with just ruining people, you know, actually playing the game. And when these things happen, it's super annoying because it feels like there are some relatively easy solutions. So the first problem is everybody has Smurf accounts. There is just, everybody has access to a practically infinite amount of accounts. It's so easy to get a new account that you can immediately go into ranked for. I mean, you can find these on the internet for a dollar or two that specific ranks, there are rank brackets that are just brutal to play in because of the account problem. Uh, and this is something I've observed as a coach watching all the ranks and somebody that I experience as a player. So from iron four, all the way up to like low bronze, I call this the deranker ELO. If you're playing in this ELO, the chance is you are going to run into derankers within your games often. You know, you might run into them once or twice or three times a week, which is absurd. You could just go into a game and just knowing there's a solid chance that one of the players is actually trying to lose with a financial gain. Why are they trying to lose for a financial gain? Because once that account's in iron four and you've deranked it all the way down to the bottom, you can sell it to a streamer who is then going to ruin all the games on the way back up, which I think that's not as much of an issue, but it still is. The second kind of doomed ELO is this high silver to low gold ELO, because for some reason, when you get a new account, it drops you right into like gold four, silver one MMR, kind of the average ELO, um, because we have so many new accounts, you know, new players, you would think it would make sense to put them a little bit lower, but most of the accounts aren't new players. So you slam them in the middle and you try to figure it out and you just give them 10 games of BS for the first 10 games. But that also means everybody else in that ELO bracket, it's just a coin flip, man. You get a new account on your team and it might be, you know, JS Method on his 70 second Smurf doing a how to win challenge, or it might be, you know, Bob who's 73 and just bought a new account and he's playing ranked for the first time and he's gonna just straight up inch you because you know he, he just belongs in iron and you know there's nothing wrong with that but he doesn't belong there and then you have this kind of high diamond to low masters range now this elo range there are a ton of new accounts and boosted accounts i don't know why i mean it must be i must have something to do with like the prestige of masters um and also people hit masters and they get hard stuck so they're able to boost up to it comfortably but they're not able to climb much further so that problem isn't as big because it affects a very small elite portion of the player base and they can fucking deal with it. But who I really care about is our average player because that's where like League is going to grow and that's where League lives and thrives. So these kind of iron and bronze, and these silver and gold, like we got to fix the new accounts ruining these ELOs. And Diamond won these days. I mean, it would be nice to fix that too. But my solution to the new account rank or, or the new account problem it's just add some friction to letting new accounts queue up. I would recommend tying a phone number to unlock, okay, or maybe an age. Maybe you have to play a certain amount of normal games in a certain amount of time. So maybe you have to play like 10 normal games per month, right? It's not that much time in the grand scheme of things, but you can't just buy an account right now and then queue up right now and then go ruin 10 games right now. You would have to go through the normal games. And then those normal games will also impact your ranked MMR, right? If you're just hard smurfing them because you're a good player, it'll be, you won't have to deal with playing in silver and gold and platinum. You know, you get placed higher platinum, diamond, whatever. And if you're new, it'll place you back in iron or bronze. And that could be a solution or add a phone number to, to circumvent that. So, you know, if you have a main account, right? Most people have one phone. Most people have an active phone number. You can circumvent the 10 games by just adding your phone number to your main account. And now in your main account, you don't have to play those games, but you only get that for as many phones as you have. 
which I think is one for the vast majority of people. Now, is this perfect? Does this solve the problem completely? Of course not. However, the goal is just to add the friction. Right now, everybody I know has a arsenal of accounts, right? Now, some people I know even get like a new account per week and it's ridiculous. And by the way, I don't fault anybody for doing this. It's not the player's faults when Riot's system facilitates this, right? They get money when you buy a new account because people refuse to play out without their favorite skin or people buy their champion or people buy name changes and all these things can cost money. So Riot doesn't deal with the new account problem because they get a lot of money from their new accounts and us and the really toxic people who are addicted who get banned on their main account buy five, seven, eight, nine accounts and they're spending all their RP on this. So I don't think Riot is incentivized to fix this until we make a big deal about it and come to a, solu a solution that like makes sense and works for people. That's the first problem and first solution recommendation. So it's too many accounts. I think the solution is make smurfing harder, uh, make people play a certain amount of normal games per month or add a phone number or maybe some combination of both. Now, the second thing that happens is people will troll in champion select. So League is kind of unique in competitive games in that you have to go through like a long queue time because there's so many different roles. So even with the same player base, our queues are a lot longer than other games. And then we have to go through a champion select, which lasts forever because for some reason <laughs> it takes 30 seconds to get in and then 30 seconds to, to ban or 30 seconds to declare champion and then ban and then 30 seconds to pick. And this guy's got to pick and this guy's got to pick. It just takes forever. And you have 30 seconds at the end. What happens with this is since we can dodge so easily, people get away with burning a lot of time in this champion select just to end up troll picking or to end up like soft inting the draft phase by playing, you know, making compositions really bad or first timing stuff or trying to get other people to dodge because they know there's no problem or just straight up deciding to troll the game because they know they have a new account. I believe if they reduce how easy it is to dodge, it will reduce the amount of trolls and it will make people have to play, you know, maybe people have to play more than one champion. So you're not gonna have one tricks, which I think is more fun. Now I wanna get a gauge for you guys. What do you guys think about this? Um, do you think the game would be better if there weren't one tricks? I think, you know, making it harder to one trick would be a good thing because it makes, it encourages people to experience more of the game. It encourages people to get a well more well-rounded view of the game. Right now, you should one trick. If you want to climb rank in solo queue, the most efficient way to do it is pick one champion, get really good at that one champion, and only play games that that one champion can carry. And if you can't carry it, dodge and go to the next account. Now, recently, Raya added some friction to dodging, and I think that's a step in the right direction. However, with a near practically infinite amount of accounts, we have a practically infinite amount of dodges. So it didn't actually, it helped a little bit, but I think we should do more with dodging. Or if we do make a Smurf accounts harder to get, I think this problem will also be fixed and you probably don't have to do both. I believe they should make dodges similar to Valorant where you get a dodge like every once in a while, but you don't get three a day. Three a day is ridiculous. You should, maybe you should get one a day. Maybe you should get one a week or one every couple days. And that's fine. One every couple days is fine, right? Maybe, maybe like something comes up while you're in the champion select, or maybe somebody is actually inting and you want to spend your one time on that. But if you reduce the, the amount of times you can dodge, people will be less incentivized to make you use your dodge by troll picking or banning your champion or picking your champion or picking things that they don't play or whatever or picking Disco Nunu, right? I'm sure we have all seen Disco Nunu. Anyways, I think those are my two biggest problems with solo queue and griefers and how to fix them. There are a lot of other smaller problems like, you know, like chat abuse or something, but I don't think chat abuse is that much of a problem because you have tools to deal with it. You just mute them and we're playing League of Legends. So it's not like chat is that helpful anyways. So I think these two changes are enough, although I would be okay if Riot just put some thought into these problems and provided their own solutions. I'm curious to hear what you guys think. Do you guys think that these problems are serious and worth addressing? And then how do you feel about my solutions? How do you guys think you would address it yourself? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a bit of a different video, kind of giving my opinions on some of the things happening in League of Legends and Solo Key right now. Um, but I appreciate y'all. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.